Hello again, this is Reaper Wolf Gaming, and welcome back to Valhalla. Now, let's see. We just finished uh, the Metro Last Light series, so... In the meantime, while well, I'm getting the, the game set up and... Uh, finding a way to relax, kick back a little bit, hopefully. <laughs> um, we'll get back to this game. Um, it seems we've bought our cutesy poster. Jill has had a bit of a mental breakdown of sorts. Or just had a Maybe not a mental breakdown, but like a emotional episode that was pretty, pretty hardcore. Uh, her sister came and like accused her of killing her sister, maybe projecting her feelings a bit. It's uh, maybe a little unfair in my opinion, but we're close to what we need in cash. Um, maybe we can try to cheer up our uh, protagonist here. Our bartender. So, uh, hmm. Seems we've already read that one. I think. New act proposes increased uh, surveillance. We have nano machines tracking people 24/7. However, due to the violent protests that have taken place recently. Prime Minister Quincy is now proposing a new law that will allow the government to shut down anyone with nanomachines in their body using a pulse signal. Many people died during the protests, and that could have been avoided if we had more control over the masses, <laughs> Quincy said during a parliament meeting. We have the technology to simply shut down lawbreakers. It's a non-lethal way to end any kind of conflict, and it's common sense to use it at this point. When asked about the possible negative consequences, Quincy refused to make any further comments. More nano machines? It's all smokescreen to divert attention. Yeah, that's like a dystopian world right there. No. Six to six American kid returns, challenges Giant Yusuke to a title match. Ever since Giant Yusuke won the GSF belt, he's had nothing but negative responses from fans. Challenger after challenge. Challenger after challenger has tried to take the title away from the opposing giant, but nearly all of them were injured in the process. 66 American Kid surprised the GSF world by returning to action almost four months earlier, er, earlier than expected, and then challenging giant Yusuke to a title match on January 4th at the Super Silver Thunderdome. This January, I'll become the GSF deserves, 66 American Kid proclaimed. During a promotion in front of 25,000 fans in Kokoro Hall. Wish I knew more about wrestling. Sounds exciting. Hmm. Uh, I don't think there's anything particularly new. Hmm. Okay. Um, just in case, we're going to save it on the same save. Just so that if, I don't know if like reading these articles makes a difference. But let's go back to work. Every Jill's, oh, you know, up for it. Good evening. Are you okay? I feel like shit. You sure you shouldn't come in? You should have come in then? You're in all the right... You, you're in all the right to stay at home. You are in all the right to stay at home. <laughs> I have to come. I threw away everything I had in my life to be here. People I loved were pushed aside just so I could enjoy my freedom of being here. My stupid, stupid freedom. So I will come here until I die, even after the bar closes and until my hair falls out. The only one who looks like she's about to fall apart. Your eyes are red and swollen. Yeah, well, your hair is hairy. Yes, it is. Ah! Who was the dipshit that changed the order of the glasses? It was me. 
I was the one washing dishes yesterday, remember? Oh yeah, I was too busy staring at my crumbling life and all that. Why don't you go home, Jill? You're in no position to deal with people right now. Go home, rest a bit. My girl, my ex-girlfriend died and I wasn't there to see her one last time. All because of a fight I spent all these years regretting and wishing to, wishing to but never actually apologizing for. My decision to assert my freedom and grab a hold of my life led me to this. Bartender strapped for cash that distanced herself from her loved ones. No other reason than selfishness. So I won't fucking leave. I threw all that away to be here. So I'm, here. so here I am. Well, I, I will stay. <laughs> this is what I wanted. And this is why I left. All of that behind. This is why. See, you're starting to sound like a broken record. Oh, leave her be. I'd rather have her here than be alone in her apartment. How are you feeling, Jill? I feel like a shit-eating piece of shit. <laughs> and the lowest of any possible life from you you might find. Nanobes look down to me in disgust, knowing they're far superior. You're spirited. That's good. Where's the mutt? Working with Sura? At Sura? I know what I said. In any case, let Jill process her anger. It's perfectly normal to feel that way. And here, she's surrounded by people that care about her. It's a lot better than leaving her to fend for herself. I mean, as smart as four might be, he's still just a cat. Why not have Jill stay and not serve anyone today? What part of I won't leave and didn't you understand? I didn't leave everyone behind just to sit and do nothing. Fine, fine. <laughs> what do you do if she lashes out at a client? That's why you're here, Gillian. Pliskin. <laughs> Who? Hey, Jill. <laughs> well, Pliskin was more of an asshole. He was like, call me Snake. <laughs> what? I'll be in my office, but if you need a break or a hug, just call me. Alright. Yeah, when something bad goes wrong, it's better just not to think about it. <laughs> Bury it away and hope it never shows its face again. It's totally healthy. And. Oh, you ready to put on music? Uh, it's gonna be an interesting day. The whole heroes keeps shining, brimming with the. Do I smell tacos? Wait, it's outside. Never mind. Oh hell no. <laughs> One moment. I need to get, grab a drink for this. We meet again, bartender. Uh, <laughs> no, Virgilio, you're gonna get fucked up. <clears throat> Virgilio, what can I do for you? Today, the luminous pollution on the streets makes it seem almost like a starry sky. When I think about stars, I think about celebrities. Celebrities are fishy and my favorite fish is the octopus. So I want something octopus-like. Are you gonna do that weird bartending thing? I'm waiting for you to order like a decent human being. <laughs> oh, I'm not following. Spell out your order like you're a human who is not in the need of medical help. Fine then, I want a sparkle star. Sparkle star. <laughs> sparkle star for the moment. <laughs> My Jill is not in a good mood. Um, this has something to do with octopi. I okay. Oh, I'm not gonna question it. And because it's for Jillo, let's get him fucked up. <laughs> Maybe I'll just say something funny. Uh, yeah, aged, mixed. Here's a sparkle star with a lot of power train. See, was it that hard? Have you tried to spell under pressure? You look angry, spelling bartender. Are you having that time of the month or something? No, I'm just fine with ridiculous amounts of anger, pain, and self-hate, and... Second thought, you're not that far from the truth, I guess. 
I get those too, you know? Periods, you do? Yes, last month I finally got over my renaissance. Moved to my enlightenment. Oh, god. And here I was thinking you get to say something serious for once. Do you imply I'm not serious? Glaring holes through me will do nothing. I'm glare immune. <sighs> Virgilio. If you allow me to give you a sincere piece of advice, uh, whatever, it's not like it'll help. You shouldn't kick yourself so much. If you keep it up, any chance of finally forgiving yourself will someday be gone. Self-hate will leave you with a hole that will never heal. So please take measures against it instead of sulking so much. I'll be damned, it actually sounded half sensible. <laughs> Here I was thinking you were just a pompous lunatic. Hey, Papa's lunatics have stories too. Really? What story? I would rather not tell. Figures. You want anything else? Have you ever seen how the... A, ba a bad touch. Bad touch, whatever. She's not even laughing at the bad touches. Jill. Oh, she's not doing good. Two Bronson extracts. Powdered deltas, two flannered guides, or camatrines. Ah. Nothing but mammals, after all. Sour, classy, and vintage. And. and there's this bad touch. Here. Yeah, I guess this is the one. Maybe he's right, and I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Even though I deserve every second of it. If only I had apologized earlier, I might not be feeling this way right now. If only I... if only I... I can't even remember what held, held me from apologizing all these years. Uh, bartender, you're making lots of faces there. Pride? Fear? What kept me from going out and apologizing to Lenar? Can't even fucking remember what kept me from fixing this whole situation. Can I at least find solace in whatever feeling it was that brought me to this situation? Great. Now I'm feeling even worse thanks to not being able to muster whatever feeling held me. Is she okay? No, but just leave her be for now. Hey, Joe. Ah, if somebody could cheer us up and say. Yeah? Oh, thank God, a normal person. Whoa, a mummy. She has covered advantages. No, no, I don't have kids. So, more normal than this plot. Uh, how are you feeling, say? My bones are still broken, but at least the cuts are healing nicely. Thank god, I'm someone that scars easily. I'm not someone that scars easily. Uh, I mean, the wounds don't leave marks. It'd be a problem if I couldn't get scar tissue. What happened to you? Fell off two and a half stories into some trash and rubble. Looked better though. Last time you came, you looked like you were about to collapse emotionally. <laughs> I guess. You're the one who looks like it now though. How do I put it? It's like when I called your you your full name but magnified. Yeah, don't don't mind me too much. I'm in a bad mood. Anything I can do? Please forgive me if I suddenly lash out at you or anyone else. You want something? Your tongue's not so sensitive today, so let's have a beer. And you? Such a change in tone. Fine, I don't need anything. Let's make a beer. A classic. Sometimes we just need time to figure ourselves out. Here. Yay, let's see if there's any difference from the canned ones. And... This one tastes less watered down. So, did something happen to you? Fine. Nothing's happened to me. People who are fine don't act like that. Oh, I get it. You're in those days. When it's that time of the month, I get a bit sulky. No, I'm not in my period. No? I'm dealing with the loss of someone, okay? Oh. Sorry. 
Don't worry. Maybe I should have come today after all. Um, no, I... Hmm. Maybe... Uh, are you right? I'm trying to find something to say. Making a joke would be tasteless. And I can't say everything will be alright without it sounding cheap. I'm at a loss as what to do here, sorry. <laughs> Wanna hear something weird? I was exactly like that when Stella came here on Monday, talking about you. Oh? Well, ladies, I'm leaving. Rigillo. Yeah? We were just sitting with a Valkyrie. Really? Splendid. <laughs> this will make a good entry in my poems vlog. I feel bad about the way I treated him today. If not for the fact that he was being cryptic with his orders for no good reason. Like Stella, when she came, first came in? Yes, no, I mean... <laughs> you could have given him a free beer or something, and apologized. Yeah, I just keep messing things up with people. You know, he seemed familiar. Familiar? Yeah, I can't put my finger on it though, I just feel like I've seen him somewhere. Uh, well, it might just be that he looks like someone from an ad or something. So what brings you here? I want to come with Stella, so I'm waiting for her. Why here? To be with you, of course. That reminds me. How did Stella react when you arrived? She slapped me real hard. It kinda hurt. She said that... Uh, she said, that's for making me worried and not listening to me. And then she became happy. <laughs> Can I ask whose loss who's you're dealing with? You shouldn't be bothered with it. Just pretend I'm in a bad mood and call it a day. Oh, okay. Really want to know, huh? I can't help it. I don't like seeing people sad. I just need to know context, not details. Someone to whom I said some mean things to passed away before I could see, ever see her again. Does that work? Yeah, sorry. No, I can't do anything that helps me calm down, but... Uh, I, I mean, it's not that I wouldn't help, I just... Calm down, I get it. Can't contain myself when I see people in need. But I've learned that there are times when you just can't do anything, and that's kind of fine. Thank god I learned that, otherwise I would have gotten insane ages ago. You're a good person, say. Nah. You're just an annoying girl. Still, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. I have broken bones, but that doesn't mean I can't offer emotional support. You could always order another drink. Oh uh, yeah. Let's do that. Give me something cold, please. Alright. So he wants something with ice. Um, hmm. Mm. Bitter, girly, and soft. Hmm. Let's not get her too drunk. I don't think Say needs that. Here. It's pretty cold outside though. Yeah, but I don't like it hot or warm. I don't like hot or warm drinks. They make me feel nauseous. You know what cheers me up? What? Singing. <laughs> Hearing people sing uh, helps too. You sing? I mean, did you take singing lessons or something? Nope. People have told, my, told me my voice is pretty nasty, actually, but they also told me I'm good with the harmonica. So you play the harmonica? I need something to do. I needed something to do some breathing exercise with, and the harmonica is a lot smaller than a tuba. <laughs> And I guess if you practice enough, you become decent. That's something I didn't expect. I hear that a lot. I know, I don't like look like the musical type. I really gotta pick up the harmonica. It's like one of my favorite instruments. I used to play with the violin right until I was 16 or so. Really? Can you still play? The violin's at my mom's house, so I don't have it with me. But I guess I could. It's one of those things you don't forget easily. Why did you stop? I don't know. One day I just felt like stopping. No deep reason behind it. Just like me and cooking. 
That and almost burning my place up. Uh oh. My Stella's coming. Um, now that you mention it, she's a bit late. Let me call her. You do that. I'm going to take my break. Tell Gil if you need anything else. Sure. Yeah, that's uh, this part. We'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.